You may only know chemical peels from what you've seen on Sex and the City. If you don't want to end up looking like Samantha, listen to dermatologist Dr. Janine Downey. She is here with the facts on chemical peels and how to make sure they're done right. Good morning. Good morning. A lot of people are coming into your office for these? Absolutely. It's very popular. What we do is we apply a light fruit acid on the face and it exfoliates it. And my patients love it these days. And it's not that expensive in our recession. How much does it cost? It's roughly around 200 and up per peel. What about for people who are scared that something like what happened to Samantha will happen to them? Well, I always say go see a board-certified dermatologist or plastic surgeon, somebody that knows the skin and knows what they're doing. Okay. And I think that's absolutely critical. Let's talk about some of the skin conditions that it might help alleviate. Sure. Somebody with acne. We have a before picture of somebody who had acne and mm -hmm. was treated with a chemical peel, and we have the after as right. well. This is a dramatic difference, Dr. Right. This is a vitalized peel, and what we did here is we took a salicylic acid and lactic acid, and it penetrates very deeply. This is about six chemical peels later, and it's really helpful. You can do it about every three to four weeks, and my patients love it. So this will last how long after the six peels? It'll last, uh, well, it depends on your hormones and mm. how much you're breaking out, but it'll last at least six months, if not longer, depending on the person. Sometimes it lasts permanently if you can control the breakouts. That's, That's key. Mm -hmm. All right, let's look at another picture of a patient Absolutely. with hyperpigmentation. The mm -hmm. before and after is right here. And this is melasma, and this is the rejuvenized peel that I used in this case. And what happens is the before and the after shows the difference in the shadowing. And melasma is a huge condition for a lot of women from all different backgrounds, especially during pregnancy. Mm -hmm. That does happen. Mm -hmm. Finally, fine lines. Can you use this instead of maybe other more expensive treatments right. for fine lines? You can use it instead of Botox, for example. And my patients do really like it a lot. People that don't want something invasive and don't want to pay that Look much. Look at the so, eye. You can yeah. really see the difference there. Exactly. So again, that really works well. And these are peels that you can do on all skin types, and that's also critical. But again, you need to go to a doctor that knows what they're doing. And, and these are considered superficial peels. Would you say more often than not, it's going to take more than one? It's going to take four to six or above okay. per treatment session. And and you can have it and then go back to work, unlike exactly. Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> right. She had a medium to uh, kind of deep chemical peel there in that episode. Okay. So you're aiming for light and gradual is light the Light and point. gradual and somebody that knows what they're doing and is skilled. All right, doctor. What about, though, if you feel, even though you say it's not that expensive, that you just can't afford it, can you use some of these at-home peels? Right. Okay. So this one has um, glycolic acid and salicylic acid in it, and this one has glycolic acid and lactic acid in it. And these are two at-home peels that I recommend all the time that I think work quite well in terms of exfoliating because you're really looking for tone differences, texture differences, acne, and fine line improvement. And it's you know, minor with the at-home peels as compared to what you can get from the dermatologist's office, but it still does help, and my patients really do appreciate the, you know, the information. Is it a danger if people buy these at the store that they'll overuse them? My patients do tend to overuse their products, unfortunately, right. and so I tell them that you know this has to be used you know, no more than once every week to two weeks, depending on how sensitive your skin is, because some of my patients will use it every day, and that is a huge problem. Okay. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Dr. Janine Downey, thanks. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you for having me. Always good to have you here. And for more on this, you can go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.